Let's take a look at page 9. Lesson, you can't see it, 2.1 and 2.2 notes. And notice this. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, corresponding angles are congruent. Remember that corresponding angles lie in the same place with respect to the parallel line and the transversal. Alternate interior angles are congruent. And remember, alternate means one angle's on one side, the other's on the other side, and they're interior, so they're in between the two parallel lines. And then the exterior, it's on the outside of the parallel lines. They are alternate exterior angles, but alternate exterior angles, um, gotta stop and think here for a second, but alternate exterior angles are congruent. Consecutive or same side interior angles, well, those are going to be supplementary. And the same thing happens with consecutive same side exterior angles, they are also supplementary. Remember that sub supplementary means that they add to be 180 degrees. And then we can't forget words from unit one. Vertical angles are always congruent and angles that form a linear pair are always supplementary. So if we take a look at our first example here, identify the angle pair as congruent or supplementary and then we need to give our reasoning. So we'll start here with angle 3 and angle 5. Notice that angle 3 and angle 5 are in between the two parallel lines. We know these are parallel from the feathers here. And um, so we can say that these are alternate interior angles. And when we look up above, we know that alternate interior angles are congruent. And that's what I'm going to put, because they're alternate interior. Angle 1 and angle 8. angle 1 and angle 8. Here I'm going to actually erase my other angles here so we can take a better look. Angle 1 and angle 8 are exterior angles and they are on the same side. So what we know about those is that they are supplementary. And then I'm just going to write alternate exterior angles. Again, I'm going to race over here so we don't get too complicated. Angle 2 and angle 6. Angle 2 and angle 6. Well, angle 2 is on top of the parallel line and to the right. Angle 6 is on top of the parallel line and to the right, which means that these are congruent angles. because they are corresponding. Angle 1 and angle 7. Angle 1 is to the left, angle 7 is to the right, so they're alternate. They are outside of the parallel lines, so these are same side exterior angles and same side exterior angles are supplementary. You might call them consecutive exterior angles as well. 
I actually learned same side. They mean the same thing. Same side. Exterior. Angle 4 and angle 5. Well, angle 4 is in between the parallel line as well as angle 5, and they are on the same side. And what we know about same side interior angles is that they are supplementary. So this time it's same side interior angles or consecutive interior if you prefer. Angle 3 and angle 7. Angle 3 and angle 7. Angle 3 is underneath the parallel line and to the right. 7 is underneath the parallel line and to the right. So those are um, going to be congruent. because they are uh, complementary, sorry, corresponding, C words, corresponding. They lie in the same place with respect to the parallel line and the transversal. Angle 5 and angle 6, notice what happened when I drew that in. These are going to be uh, supplementary. and they are supplementary because they are a linear pair. In angle two, in angle four, they are congruent. And they are congruent because they are opposite angles, which we also call vertical angles.